Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to build a GPS speedometer using Arduino Nano and SparkFun Ublox Neo M9N module. You can download all the files you need from GitHub. Once you are on this page, go to code and download zip to your computer. Inside the folder, you will find the code, the driver in case you need it, and the wiring diagram. For this build, you'll need a nano board, an OLED display, a button, a Ublox Neo and M9N GPS module, a 10 ohm resistor, and some wires. Most of the components can be found on Amazon, and I've put a link for the GPS module in the description. What is special about this module is the onboard antenna, which eliminates the need for an external antenna, which is very interesting, very small, but powerful. All right, so now we'll take a closer look on how the wiring is done. Uh, in the nano, where A4 port goes to SDA on the OLED screen and the A5 goes to the SCK I guess or SDK or something cannot see it, see it very well you need to take the 5 volt for the, for the other components from the Arduino and ground alright now we'll check the other side connect the D3 to the button and RX goes to TX of, of the GPS module and TX from the nano goes to RX and see the coloring so uh, yellow goes to yellow and green go goes to green all right the resistor for the button goes to ground and the other side of the of the button goes to 5 volt all right and the other connections here on the gps ground to goes to ground and 5 volt goes to 5 volts all right right now let's connect the device now onto the coding part. Open up your code file. I made this change so uh, now you will receive 8.33 hertz update rate. I'm uh, planning to make it faster than this actually, but this is what I could achieve with the, this setup. Probably the wiring makes the circuit slower or something. We'll figure it out later on. At least we'll have something working right now. All right. This is same as before. All right. We'll go down. I made some modifications uh, here to the structure of nav PVT because uh, M9N doesn't accept the the previous uh, structure. So I changed some things in the in this structure. Now this structure can pass the check some uh, check actually. <laughs> All right, go down, down, down here. I changed how to calculate the, the, the speed, how to convert it to mile and kilometer. All right, uh, I did that by calibrating this device with a well-known device. Now to the uploading part, all right. Now we'll upload the sketch to our Arduino. Go to tools port and select the available port which is you know the right port and uh, the the boards will be under arduino avr boards and then arduino nano uh, by by the way this is not the original nano this is a clone one so we might have issues with when we upload the sketches we'll see now to upload disconnect this wire which is the RX on the Arduino and press upload alright 
if you receive this code or this error you have to install ch341 ser driver okay double click the exe file press yes make sure it is 2014 this this version works for me install driver install success and then press upload again wait for it uploading done uploading so it works uh, reconnect the wire and if you see those two lines rotating this means the first one is the refresh rate of the Arduino itself the second one is the GPS modules update rate which is uh, in this case 8 megahertz and that's it you've successfully built a GPS speedometer if you enjoyed this video or learned something new oh before that I forgot to show you the GPS speedometer like uh, I wanted to introduce this to you in this video which is I took the Arduino and removed the components from it and built this PCB installed this device and removed uh, the M9 and put it here and as you can see I destroyed the cover of it anyway it works fine which will be the subject of the next video Thanks for watching.